Thomas and Friends, Emily Saves the World. One sunny day on the island of Sodor, the engines were talking about some of the exciting deliveries that they had made. Duncan delivered a really big elephant statue. Reneus had hauled a huge dinosaur skeleton. Gordon had once carried the queen. Wow! Emily exclaimed. She was pulling a load of sand. Definitely not exciting. When Emily arrived at Brandom Docks, her friend Thomas could see that she was sad. What's wrong? he asked. Oh, I never delivered anything exciting, Emily peeped. How she wished she had. The next day, Sir Topham Hatt sent Emily to collect a special. Probably more sand, Emily said with a sigh. But it wasn't more sand. Bust my buffers, Emily peeped when she saw her delivery. It was a giant model of the world for the animal park. Emily couldn't wait to show the other engines. She chuffed off with excitement. But there were no engines anywhere along the line. Emily finally saw Gordon up ahead at Marin Station, but he left before she arrived. Emily wanted someone to see her excited delivery. She chuffed ahead as fast as her wheels would carry her. But it was too fast. Buff boing! The globe bounced loose and rolled away. Emily had no idea that her special was missing. Then Emily saw Thomas. Hello, Thomas, she said happily. If you want to see an exciting load, look at this. Isn't it great? Um, what do you mean? Thomas asked, confused. There's nothing on your flatbeds. Oh, no, I must have lost it. Emily peeped in shock. I better find it, or I'll never get another exciting delivery again. And off she chuffed. Down the line, Thomas and Annie were chuckling about Emily's invisible delivery, when... We might want to hurry up along a bit, Clarabelle suddenly peeped. Why? Thomas asked. Because there's a giant globe heading right for us! Clarabelle whistled loudly. Thomas pulled into a siding, and the spinning world kept rolling down the tracks. The globe rolled all the way to Brendam Docks. Salty tried to stop it. Emily tried to stop it, but the globe spun away, right into the water. Luckily, Captain was there to push it to the dock, where Cranky picked it up and placed it safely onto Emily's flatbed. Thanks, Cranky! And thank you too, Captain, Emily called as she puffed away. My, my, Emily, you are very late, said Sir Topham Hatt when Emily arrived at the animal park with the globe safely in tow. I'm sorry, sir, Emily peeped. I just wanted everyone to see my exciting delivery. You certainly did cause confusion and delay, but at least you got here in the end. Sir Topham Hatt replied. At last, the giant globe was in its proper place for everyone to see. Well, Emily, said Thomas as he pulled up next to her, I think you managed to make that the most exciting delivery ever. Maybe a little bit too exciting, Thomas, Emily said with a laugh. Thomas smiled at his friend Emily, and then he laughed too.